Hey guys. So let me let me just fill you in on what's going on here. You see what I'm having to deal with. Every day my Joy-Cons drift further from God's light. Okay, it's telling me there's no control. What, what are you telling me this for? I was just using them. Excuse me. Well, it's getting worse by the second. <clears throat> and you can't get new ones and you can't repair these now. I hope you're having a good day, chat. Sorry I, uh, I opened that with the bitch fest. But uh, hey, I think it's valid. The drowned cat emote. Porterhouse, it really, it really, it really does look like a drowned cat, doesn't it? But yeah, it's realistic, Bungle Puss. Uh, yeah, the piss cons, Turtle Chow. What? No good. Uh, Sir Crow says I was playing with Cryptid last night and I had to fight my controller because it kept veering to the right. Yeah, I uh, I lean to the left. I dress left. Slowpoke says my Joy-Cons disconnected when they were attached to the console. I had that happen to me. That's rare. That's rare, but I have had that happen to me. That's happened to me while playing Isaac in handheld. Yeah. Where the, the, the console's like, hey man, there's no Joy-Con attached. <laughs> it's like, are you sure? Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure there is. Red coffee. Thank you for seven months. Um, what's up, Hateful Kate? They work at Amazon, and Amazon is shipping BDSM gear and sex toys as priority items. Well, yeah, I mean, imagine being locked up in, in, in quarantine uh, and not having any dildos. That'd be a bummer, huh? Be pretty fucked up. Imagine being locked... Uh, yeah, this. I'm not touching the, jo the, uh, the thumbstick on the left Joy-Con. Yeah, go ahead, dude. Have a blast. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. Don't let me stop you. Do what you need to do, my guy. Imagine being in quarantine and you have no Bowser amiibos. Is what I was going to say. You guys like my Steven Universe shirt? My Peter Universe? I should make a, a, a cosplay costume for Peter Universe. Just kind of do, like, the Peter outfit, but just have this shirt. You can't, like, customize it. Yeah, it's drifting again. That's fucking so sick. You can't customize the clothes, because I know the shirt needs to be red. It's red. Guys, look, are you seeing this? <sighs> fucking far out, man. Pink crows free your big coon baby. Thank you for 25 months, sport. Alright, there's no reason for that to be on, so I'm just gonna turn it off real quick. Let me see if I could just do turn it off. Just turn that off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Just turn it off, dude. Guess you can't have the the shovel equipped. Usually if I have the net equipped, the hit, he'll hit it with the net 50 times and then turn it off on the 50th attempt. Uh, the pair with the serious Joy-Con drift is a month old, Sir Crow. <laughs> Meanwhile, Deirdre is Naruto running without a care in the world. Must be nice to not have to worry about Joy-Con drift. BDSM gear as a priority item. That's fucking wild. Like ball gags? Like ball gags are a priority priority item? What about food? I tried to use Amazon Fresh to have food delivered to the house. And the fucking, like, delivery appointment dates were blocked out till, like, the end of March. Uh, so the end of May. The end of May. There are no delivery slots open until the end of May in my area. But I could have a fucking next day delivery for a fucking Chance the Dragon horse dildo. Chance the Dragon. Yeah, that's that's what it's that's what it is. A Chance the Dragon horse dildo? It's 
pretty poggers if you're a pegger. Poggers for peggers! Oh, uh, but if you like to eat, it's not very poggers! So, listen. I want to show you guys something I've been working on. Now, I know this looks a little bit jank right now. And that's primarily because uh, I have to get rid of the bridge. It's actually the only reason why it looks so jank. The bridge has to go. Uh, but I'm going to make the island into a square-shaped island. I'm going to make a square-shaped island because... Dude, you just, like, can't face left. I, I want you to bury it in the hole. The Joy-Con drift won't let me face left. This is my third pair of Joy-Cons, by the way, for people for people wondering. Sir Crow said... Well, no, I mean, like, I, I can go to the, the, the grocery store and get food, but I, d I didn't want to because I don't want the motherfucking virus. But I did, you know, I did what I had to do to not starve. Yeah. But, I mean, fuck, like, I wanted, you know, wanted it delivered, and... But it's good to know I can have a fucking, yeah, like a, like a bondage suit. Like a fucking latex gimp suit next day delivery, but, but, but not, but not... Food. Not vital sustenance. Raptor boy, welcome back to the family. Thank you for 18 months. Yeah, I got, and if you think I'm being paranoid, I'll really quickly just remind you guys that New York City is the, the, what, like, global epicenter of the fucking pandemic at this point. So, yeah, uh, if you, if you haven't been following this, just quickly look up the, the, the statistics for this fucking thing in New York City. And then you'll be like, oh, now I see why he didn't want to fucking leave the house. It's fucking brutal over here, guys. But anyway, you know where it's not brutal? On East Lechuga. So, you may remember... ...that this island was kind of like... ...like it was a square, but it was a sideways square. And it was the type of... Th like, a, like a diamond type of a shape, like an elongated diamond. Um... And the problem is, in this game, y you can't put anything diagonally like it's like fake isometric type of a thing you know what i mean so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get rid of this bridge d d d curiously enough though chat the game lets you put bridges diagonally which is like what we can't put paths diagonally we can't put buildings or, or uh, anything Diagonally, but they've decided to allow us to put bridges diagonally. You can't put ramps diagonally. Like, I don't understand. Like, do you want it to be a grid or do you not want it to be a grid? So I'm going to delete the bridge and I'm going to put it here. Right. Uh, and then this island, I'm going to just carve this out. I'm going to make it a perfect square. Uh, it'll look a little bit less natural, but you know what? Whatever. Uh, and this is going to be the island where I put my house, and I have my lavish fucking my estate, you know, my villa. Put my villa here. Uh, it's going to be uh, a compound, really. It's going to be fucking crazy. Uh, and I I put this little island up here. Uh, just because I didn't feel like carving out an even bigger chunk of, of river and just... So this was actually part of the original island that was here. Uh, but I carved it out. I'm gonna leave it here. And I'll put something cool here. I might move the Statue of Liberty over here. Or maybe if Gulliver gives me something... something cooler, I might put it here. You know? Put something cool there eventually. Looking like a Zelda platform. Yeah. I dug the holes and then I never hit the rock. What is wrong with me? Why did I do that? Oh my god. 
Yeah. And uh, you know, it's 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 really stressful, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna just like I'm just gonna quickly say this because it's it's honestly it's like it's forefront in my fucking mind right now that I have fucking I have boomer fucking family members who are ignoring this. Despite the fact that we're up to like almost 800 fucking casualties in the city. In the state, rather. And it's like, it's, 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 it's really fucking, it's really fucking getting to me. It's, it's really like eating away at me, like to the point where I cannot like deal with this anymore. Uh, and, but I, I'll, I'll tell you what though, these daytime streams have been really, really helpful, man. They've been... They've been really good for me, so thank you guys for, for coming and helping distract me from this fucking stupidity. Just, I fucking can't handle it. But anyway, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get the order put in to have that bridge destroyed. What's up, Marina? Oh, speaking of Splatoon... It was funny. Apparently, the Nintendo of America Twitter account made a post about an upcoming Splatoon 2 update, but then immediately deleted it. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of which, I was just talking to uh, Boo with Doc about this. We're going to do another uh, community Splatfest on May 2nd. What is that? May 2nd is a... Uh, Saturday. Yeah. So we're going to do one. Uh, it'll be... Squan Dog versus Bungle Puss. Right? And uh, maybe... Who knows? Uh, we'll be playing this game with a new update. Now... Most likely, it, it's probably just weapon uh, patches, you know, some, another roller buff, probably. more. It's probably just another roller buff, if anything. It's not going to be new content, right? Uh, but it's going to be some balancing shit, I think. But it was weird that they tweeted it and then deleted it. Tweet and delete it. Yeah, Turtle Child. Nook's got me by the balls. Thinking about getting a roommate in order to afford all of this, man. Um... There's this bee villager, goes by the name Jerry Seinfeld. I heard he's been looking for somebody to room with. Time to start doing my my best Kramer impression. I, I need to tell that story again for the people that weren't here. Uh, yeah, and by the way, I have a... Uh, don't be jealous, but I have Newman in my town. Newman moved in. One of the most coveted villagers. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, Stormbringer is in chronic pain. I'm sorry. Uh, you're not allowed to see the doctor because you can't leave the house. I never wanted to go ape shit, ape shit in the woods more than I do right now. Going ape shit in the woods sounds like a really good time right now. Though I have to ask, what does going ape shit in the woods entail? Does that just mean like taking a shit in the in 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 the grass? Like, what are you gonna do? Um, Harris Post says, "Don't lie to yourself. You're obviously a George." No, listen. If anybody is a George Costanza, it, it's pussy. Like, didn't I describe, like, what what was that description I, I gave you guys? When you guys asked what pussy looks like, I told you he looks like George Costanza mixed with, like, Garfield or something. What was that description that... And, like, listen to him speak. Like, he sounds like a George. He's George. I might be... Yeah, I might be a Kramer. I think I'm a Kramer. Yeah. You know, without the racism. Um. So the other night... And maybe the person who asked me if I was having Animal Crossing dreams is here tonight. Uh, today. I didn't at the time, but maybe because you asked me that, I had a dream. And long story short, the dream is there was a villager at my campsite. Right? 
And it was the, the fucking B from B-Movie. Like, the Jerry Seinfeld B from B-Movie. But he had, like, a real Jerry Seinfeld face. It didn't make any, any sense. And he wanted to move into my town. And I just, uh, you know, I ignored him, obviously, and didn't let him move in. Um, yeah, that's it. Last night, I tried to catch a koala cant and got a sea bass. I feel like that's a pretty common problem, uh, Barber Bun. Red Coffee says, My ex-girlfriend met the director of B-Movie and said he had an unsettling aura to him. Yeah, I mean, the guy basically wrote, like, a fucking, like, bestiality fanfic about, like, a fucking human woman and a, and a, a literal fucking insect. So, yeah, I would imagine he does have an unsettling aura about him. And no, not like an anthro insect. I, I, I'll, I'll fucking be. I'll be. Just an actual be. Because that's what that movie is. And if you haven't seen the movie and you think I'm exaggerating that, go watch it. Go watch it. And then come back and tell me I'm exaggerating that. Okay, there's a scene where, like, the bee fucking flies into her vagina. Okay? But it's not supposed to be sexual. Because all he's doing is applying a... a she, she, he's giving her a liberal application of wasp nest paste. Because she's got a yeast infection. It's not supposed... It, it, the director said it wasn't meant to be sexual. But, I mean, do we believe that, guys? I don't. I don't. I certainly don't. God, why is that giving me deja vu? What was the, the, the thing that somebody said that... Somebody was, uh... Redrawing the, 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 the MLP cartoon to give all the, all the characters genitals. But claimed it wasn't... <laughs> claimed it wasn't sexual. <sighs> Oh, uh, okay. Sure, it's not. Yeah, I have to give you 10 grand. Fucking criminal. Well, that could be more. What's the deal with Tom Nook? What's the deal? Um... Yeah, that one. No, that one. Yeah, that one. We're gonna get rid of that one. That's a shame, too, because that was one of the more expensive ones. It wasn't like the bullshit wood one. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. I thought he was saying it like I had backed out of it and cancelled. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I told you to destroy it. Was Guys, was that Joy-Con Drift? I think that was Joy-Con Drift. Hateful Kate, thank you for five months of support. Mom, but it was fucking Joy-Con Drift, dude. What the fuck? It, it's getting to a point where like I can't use these Joy-Cons anymore now. Yes! Or maybe it was just me impatiently button mashing Wamba. Uh, Octane, thank you for the bits there. Have some feel good bibbits. Thank you for the daytime streams. It's been a nice spell. Listen, it's it's helping me more than it's helping you. Trust me. Yeah, turn. Yeah, it's walk back in. So that's it. He's gonna destroy it now. Uh, I have to wait a day. Yeah, I have to wait a day. Kind of blows, because I wanted to work on this now. But, you know. That'll be a future stream, I guess. Um, And the reason I didn't do it last night... Oh, oh look, the octopus there. They're flirting. Oh, they're going home together. Octavian look at him, he's like, Oh yeah, time to get all up in that Octussy. Octussy. Oh yeah, time to get some hot, wet Octussy. 
The reason I didn't do it last night is because I was waiting for this to get built. And eventually, you can see there were some changes up here. I'm going to replace this with a brick bridge because, you know, I want to. Um, wasn't there, like, a fucking James Bond movie, like a 007 movie that was called Oct Octussy? What was Oh, Octopussy, right? It was just called Octopussy? James Bond Octopussy or some shit? It's fucked up, man. What was, like, the deal with that movie? What's the deal with Octopussy? Like, what? Like, seriously, what is it? I, I haven't seen it. I don't, I don't know. I, that always confused me and was mildly amusing that that was the name of a James Bond movie. Octopussy was another a agent. Well, did they address at any point in the dialogue how absolutely absurd and hilarious the, the fucking guy's name is? There's a Bond girl named Pussy Galore. <laughs> Pussy for days. Why is his code name Octopussy? Like, I'm assuming it's his code name, right? Um. Is it any worse than Deep Throat? And that one is real. Octopussy was a woman. The only way y your name should be Octopussy is if you straight up have eight vaginas. And the only woman who's ever pulled that off is uh, Moffat from Undertale. For obvious reasons. Well, actually, it would just be four, wouldn't it? Because it's just one for each pair, pair of legs. Yeah. But uh, anyway. Looks like I got Sahara in my, in my town. Moffat? What? Her name's not Moffat, it's Muffet? <laughs> Glad I caught you! I got an exercise bike that I didn't really need! <laughs> you know how you already have something, but then forget buy another one? It's like that. <laughs> so, it's cool, I promise. Uh, not trying to fob off my hand-me-downs on you. <laughs> this is a new one. <laughs> She doesn't need an exercise bike. She's one of those people who just has, like, a very naturally fast metabolism, so she could just eat, like, all the carbohydrates she wants, that lucky bitch. I don't actually have to work out. She just fucking has, like, pizza fucking five nights a week. Just eats fucking, like, cheesesteaks and shit. Never has to exercise. Fuck, I'm jealous of that. Guys, I have one slice of bread, and it's like fucking. I turn into Baruch, the the the, the Baruch Assault. No, that's the other bitch, the fucking blueberry bitch from from Willy Wonka. That's what happens to me when I have one slice of bread. One slice of bread. One. Violet. Well, I guess deer probably burn calories really quickly, right? Probably use them. Probably one of those animals that has to eat a lot. Very high BPM heartbeat. I bring these rugs from my home, which is far, to help you decorate your home, which is near. I have small rugs, large rugs, and rugs of the medium space between. The design is seen after the buying. I have also mysterious flooring and wallpaper. Oh, how surprising you will find it. Are you ready? Yes. Give me a rug and tug. A rug and tug from Sahara for only a thousand bells. That's a great deal, guys. I want a large rug. Something to tie the room together. Thank you. I have exchange tickets as bonus for the good soul if you save up five tickets. Oh, so now I can buy... Is it just me or is this needlessly convoluted? This whole system that she has going on. Uh... Well, you you need the tickets for the, for the wallpaper? Like, it just...
Okay, so if I need five tickets and I get a medium a medium rug, that will that will add up to five. It's the second time I've seen the fucking villain the, the, the character, so get off my balls. Okay? You just get a free one if you get five. Well, no, because, I mean, I want the tickets. Fuck it. Nah, fuck it, because then I get two things. I want to I wanna do it. Medium rug, so then I'll have five if I buy a medium rug. Yes. And then I'll be able to get a free wallpaper or flooring. Okay. So now, yeah, now I have five tickets. So it's just a way for you to, like, get a discount if you spend a lot of money at this vendor. Mysterious wallpaper or mysterious flooring? Um, I feel like I did flooring last time, so I'm going to go for wallpaper this time. And the last time I did this... I see the last two times because I lied. I have seen this character twice, I remember now. The mystery wallpapers were, like, weird and bullshit. And they fucking d d deleted my windows. The way that, like, one's dick gets deleted if Vasila can't bites it, you know? <laughs> the five tickets costed you 3500 so when buying the wallpaper or flooring is 300 Yeah, but Bubba Fair, but you're, you're, like, forgetting that I got two rugs out of it. Like, I, I b bought and paid for two rugs that I now own, that I wanted. You know? Why did I do this? I have to go to the store. I like how the clam just dissolves when you throw it on the sand. Look at my highlighted message. I'm seeing it, blue girl. It's just, All it says is look at my highlighted message. Oh, Blue Girls always says there are two different pools. You can get mystery from the tickets and also uh, from buying for her. So if you use the tickets, you'll get different items than if you were to just buy it. Is that what you're saying? What's up, Carnival Tempest? Yeah, I'm going to play 999 later tonight. Probably much later tonight, honestly. Um, I want to sell. Yeah, you see the tiger? Maybe I should buy like eight of them and do a little... A little Joe Exotic cosplay. Uh, also, Wamba, thank you for the Jester shoes. Uh, yeah, sell all the fruit. Um, sell, uh... Well, that's it. Bubba Fair says they're pretty small pools. Uh, me, Mal, and some others tested it. We got the same walls and rugs. So there's not that many items that she has then. Seems. Alright. Oh, we'll knock out that one right now. Really no reason for me to like mindlessly grind fucking Nook Miles for hours like I did, you know, the first week I had the game. Oh, look, look at the other thing. I could do a clacker volley. I could do a clacker volley. Motherfucking JoJo reference. Give me that shit. Um, hold on. Let me look at those miles again. There is one for planting trees. So I'm going to buy two saplings from them. Because why not? Because, you know, you might as well do the two times. And notice, it's more of the game encouraging you to just play it for, like, an hour or a day. Because you get the times two. You get five times twos every day, and then the rest of them are just regular. So it's like, yeah, you can keep playing if you want. Sure. But that's, again, that's not how Nintendo wants you to, wants you to play the game. But hey, it could be worse. They could be shoving the uh, the suggestion that you take a break in your face every 30 minutes. 
Uh, this looks like stuff I don't care about. Yeah, I'm good. Why he is looking for somebody with decent, uh, decent turnip prices. Dude, you know, I keep not buying the turnips. Primarily because I'm just, usually I'm asleep at that time, but I feel like I'm, I'm fucking myself by not doing it. I saw Bubba Fair made like two million dollars the other day on the, the stock market. Yeah. Stock market doing a lot better than the actual stock market right now. You see how I keep getting stuck on these fountains? It's making me consider removing them, even though they look cool. Like flanking either side of the main fountain, I think, right? What's the deal with these fountains? Red Coffee made 10 million in one day because I'm crazy. Did you do the thing where you had a turnip covering every square inch of your island? Alright, I'm gonna store all of this shit. Yeah, you know, just put those on because fuck it. Um, put that. Yeah, put that. Uh, what's a Newton's cradle? Newman's cradle? Oh, that, the thing I just fucking bought. That's what that's called? Who the fuck is Newton? Oh, I guess the guy who that created the, th the theory of gravity. That is, I don't know. That, does that represent gravity or does that represent inertia? Isaac Newton. Mike, are you fucking serious? Do you guys think that that's the only guy who ever had the last name Newton? How do you know that it wasn't Frank Newton who invented... Not only Fig Newtons, but also the Clacker Volley. Frank Newton. You guys know about Isaac Newton, but I bet you never heard of Frank Newton. Shut the fuck up. Frank Newton. Google Frank Newton. Okay? Fucking educate yourself, you ignorant bastards. One of Newton's three laws of motion in inertia is, is inertia. Right, so I'm a dumbass again. You know what I didn't study at any point in, in, in college or high school? Fucking physics. We had chemistry, we had biology, and I was a communications major, so... My knowledge of Isaac Newton is limited. How many people are just like, oh my god, I can't believe Mike's such a dumbass, don't know nothing about the laws of motion to Isaac Newton. Who actually had no fucking idea about it themselves, but just Googled it so they could have, like, the high ground on this. Jump Gene. Thank you for 15 months support. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's fine. Isaac Newton, the man who realized you could smash up figs and then put them into a delicious little cookie. He changed the face of the world. What a hero. Man, Fig Newtons are fucking great. I miss Fig Newtons. It's a shame Fig Newton's got cancelled. See, it's a shame there's no miles for talking to my villager because... Now I have no reason to talk to them. Like, why would I willingly talk to my villagers? Yeah, they're just... 
they're just not going to shut up about Bonnie Day anyway. They're just going to endlessly talk about eggs until this event ends. But, I mean, then again... And, I mean... I feel like this this took a lot longer in New Leaf. But, guys, I think I'm at the point where I've seen all the dialogue... Uh, lines for all the the characters already. Love that hitbox on that thing. You know, like the characters are starting to repeat themselves and saying things that I've seen other characters say several times. It's like, wow, that's it? It's only like five fucking <laughs> dialogue options. Like, really? I feel like there was a lot more in New Leaf. There's a fishing tourney on Saturday, Bubba Fair. I didn't know. I did not know that. That sounds cool. Yeah, I'd love to do it. Maybe, uh... Maybe I'll stream that a little bit. Could be cool. I think I need to change the Family Guy theme. I don't think it can be the Family Guy theme. I'm, I'm going out of my fucking mind. Like, it was funny for five minutes, and I've I, I just been regretting it every moment since I did it. As it was only funny, like, when it was pissing... Pissing off Jen, and now Jen's, like, not bothered by it anymore, so it's not funny anymore. Now it's just sad. You know what could be fun? Can somebody get me tabs for, like, the Seinfeld baseline? That might be a nice refreshing change of pace. Do -do 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 -do. Can I get, can I get that? Hold on. The Steven Universe theme. You know, it'd be funny if I went we and then left like an eight note rest and then did all the crystal gems. So one time CNN I, I, this was fantastic. CNN just tweeted the, the, the word we. Just the word we. Like it was a fuck up. It was just the, the word we. And then immediately somebody replied to it and said, are the crystal gems. And then it, the entire tweet thread was, was just people replying with like next, the next line of lyrics. Yeah, it was like a Kofefe thing. And then CNN deleted the tweet. <laughs> like a day later. It took him like a day. <laughs> Alright. So. I guess I'll go up here now. Still gotta find some fossils, I think. There we go. Got some tabs. Put them in chat for me. Is that... Is that them? Hold on. Island tune creator. Seinfeld theme. Uh, that's kind of weak. Uh, listen to it here. Hmm. Oh, uh, it's not... Eh, it's not immediately recognizable, is it? I don't know if yeah, I don't know if that's a good a good choice for, for something like this. From um. 
You know what the problem with it is, TV Hero? Is that it's only really recognizable as the Seinfeld theme if it's fucking... If it's slap bass. Like, you take that, uh... That melody, and you put it on anything that's not slap bass. You, you, you'll, you might recognize it, but you're not gonna be like, Ha ha, Seinfeld. Megalovania? Oh shit, maybe. Might piss a lot of people off, too. More than the Family Guy theme, though? Probably not. So I gotta start coming up with ideas for what I want to do on uh, my home island. Again, I want it to be, you know, very, like, lavish and extravagant, you know? Here we go. This works. And broken shovel in three, two, one, break. No, we're good. Star heaven, free back to family. Barbed wire fences. Well, I was thinking about putting a fence around the entire perimeter of the island. Uh, I think, you know, Alcatraz, but uh, a little bit cozier. And I'm thinking about. I'll show you what I'm thinking about. Where would walls be uh, in here? Other, okay. So I was thinking about this wall, or I was thinking about... Uh, there's a wall called the Zen Wall that you could buy from the Nook Terminal for miles. And uh, fun story, guys. Uh, I One night, I attempted to purchase both this and the Zen Wall. And then I went into my mailbox the next morning, and there were two DIY recipes for this. And I was like, cool. Fucking sweet. It prints set the terminal, Star Heaven says. Oh, so I'm lying. All right, listen. I what what had happened was I had two of them. I had I had one I had a DIY recipe in my inventory, but I already knew the recipe. Does that make sense? Uh, the thing with the mailbox was I actually I accidentally bought two of those teacup rides. You know the ones that cost like fucking fifty thousand miles. That's that's what that was. Yeah. Yeah, and I gave the other one to Buntime. I was like, here, don't don't fucking spend your miles on it because I fucked up and bought two here. Uh why he says, didn't you say you had a screenshot or something to show us yesterday? I I do. And yeah, thanks for reminding me. Here. A peacock butterfly. Be shrill, my squeeing heart. Oh, it's so beautiful. Keep it cool, Flag. Okay. Flag, don't freak out. Okay, it's just the book, right? Calm your boner. Be shrill, my squeeing heart. Yeah, and that was the point where I almost just like pushed them off. It, like pushed them off my island into the ocean. Yeah. Here, look at this shit. Jazz size. Yeah, I just, listen, it's just the word squee, and just, I don't know, it annoys me, I'm sorry. Whoa. It's one of those Madagascar butterflies, huh? Bet you they sell for a lot. It's actually a moth, my bad. Yeah, dude.
be shrill my squeeing heart. I was like, you, you didn't. You know what? I was like, Flick, I like you, but you, ju you just went too far. You just crossed the fucking line. I have a line, and you just crossed it, buddy. As far as I could tell, the word squee, and I had to have this explained to me, actually, by Wamba. They called me a boomer. I was like, what does squee mean? And they called me a boomer. And then went on and then proceeded to tell me that squee is a word that basically means like squeal, like you would squeal. So in other words, if you if you met, you know, like your I don't know, your 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 fucking your hero, if you if you met like your your K-pop stan or whatever, you might you might squee. And you would say, Oh my god, I'm squeeing. Girly excitement, Narandia Owl says, yeah. Okay. And I was like, okay, I don't approve of that. Guys, I'm a boomer. I need to start acting like one. I want to do a little... A little thing here. Hold on. See if I could make a little... A cute little thing here. Make you guys squee with delight. You squeeing yet? Who's squeeing? Roscoe says I associate it with coming up as an artist on DeviantArt in the late 2000s, surrounded by Sonic fan artists and Yaoi people. If that contextualizes it, that that that's where that comes from. You like it? He's got a little a little landing now, and he can. He can wake up in the morning. And it's Kyle's house, by the way, and he could walk down here and he can he can fish. He can fish over here. It's cute, right? Does it just make you want to squee? I can already tell what's gonna happen here. This is one of those words I'm gonna start using ironically, and then it's gonna be fucking adopted into my daily lexicon, and I'm not gonna be able to stop saying it. Is this what's going on? It's interesting hitbox. Make you squee across the room. <laughs> yeah. Make you squee across the room. <laughs> Sad idea for something I could do over at Stonehenge. So I feel like when I seen pictures of Stonehenge, again, I'd never actually been there. No, when I was in, um, when I was in London, I, I had really wanted to go check it out. But I only had five days to spend in London, so I was like, I don't think I'm going to take a bus. You know, it's going to be like several hours outside the city. I'm just going to hang out there. But I feel like I've seen rope fences around it. it like, is that a thing that, that, has anybody here been to Stonehenge? And obviously the reason for that is it's an archaeological site. They can't have people walking up to it, like, you know, rubbing their dicks all over it. So maybe I'll put some rope fence around this to make it look a little bit a little bit more interesting. I think it's a cute idea. I might might squee. Feeling cute, might squee. Yeah, it's ha it's happening, chat. I I can't. Oh god damn you flick, you fucking you ruined me. You fucking ruined me. Might squee, IDK. <laughs> How do you explain I rubbed my nuts on Stonehenge novelty shirt? I think maybe they let you do it if you pay a certain amount of money. Like they're fucking, they're pimping out Stonehenge. Wamba says, Mike, you're going to make squee on funny like you did poggers. Well, Wamba, my mission is to make every single thing on earth on funny in due time. That's, that's the work that God put me on this earth for. 
And I'm going to spend every waking minute I can making every single thing on funny till the second I drop dead. That's my mission. Um. Hold on. Hollow monster likes how it looks wild over there. Yeah, so you're saying maybe don't put up the ropes? Could be cool. Um. The joke's on you, Poggers, was never funny. Well, that's what happens, right? It's like, you take something that's inherently fucking unfunny, and then you kind of just bastardize it a little bit until it wraps around to being funny again. And then it wraps around to not being funny again. And then sometimes it'll wrap around to, be to being funny again. Um... Uh... Do you want the Megalovania theme to replace the Family Guy theme? Mm, maybe. Comedy is a flat circle. Look, Jen, it's your favorite... Your favorite villager. Um... Let's see, uh... Okay, we got our four fossils. To every single one of them you, you have already. Okay. <clears throat> Starting to get pissed. Oh, look at this shit. That's not going to work for me. Hold on. Oh, thank God they let you do that after the fact. Why are you erased? The, the Joy-Con drift made him turn around and erase the shit behind him. Oh. Okay. Um, no, we definitely want that there, I think. Do we? If it's just too wide. Nah, you know what? That's cool. I'm gonna do that. That looks good. i put my street lamp back. The street lamps is where most of my miles went in this game. Most of my nook miles. Because uh, I just think they're cool. Oh boy, it's another egg. Hell yeah. I'm going to figure out something to put over here so it doesn't look so stupid. And thinking about urbanizing this little chunk of land somehow. I don't know. Got some ideas. Just going to let that brew for a little while. That's a project, I think, for after I deal with the house area. Because, again, I'm going to make that... A compound. It's gonna be real sexy, guys. Get away from my house. Bags of rats, M Madoka Ritosu. So many, so many rat bags. I will be contracting sick today for help on the rat bags. Bringing in the experts. Uh, hmm. Can I show you guys something? These are all doubles of the fossils. I, I have three uh, pteranodon bodies, like three parasaur tails. Now, what I'm thinking is some of the fossils... Three Diplonecs. Three Ankylotorsos. Some of the fossils have more scarcity than, than other ones. Um, which, I, I don't believe that should be the way to, to do it. I think they should just do it where it's total RNG. Which, maybe it is. Sell fossils for a lot. Well, my idea here is to eventually trade with people... Um, for parts that, you know, like, they don't have 
for parts that they have doubles of type of a thing, but I'm thinking, like, if it is a scarcity thing, then that's not going to be a thing that happens because we're all sitting here with doubles of the same fossils. You know what I mean? Wamba finished their fossils today? Really? Oh, look at all the eggs I've hoarded. I, I'm not going to use any of these even. Like, this is just pointless. I, do these sell for a decent amount? Can I hawk them? Watch them all disappear when the Easter event ends. Like, watch that happen. <laughs> Should he use the mess hole? I don't think they're going to do that. Uh, you also probably noticed that I'm hoarding the, um, the cherry blossoms. Because again, what, you have like 10 days to catch them and then you don't get any more until next year. So I figure hoarding these is a pretty good idea. Make bunny day walls. They sell for 4,800. Oh, that's a good idea, Octane. Um... Doesn't the uh, Final Fantasy remake drop tomorrow, or did they delay it again? Part one of the Final Fantasy remake? I think that's... I think that's happening tomorrow. Is that not happening tomorrow? Uh... I might stream that tomorrow in that kiss. I don't know if anybody's interested in, in that. Uh, let's make some bait. Uh, Narandia Owl says the dress is good because it's only one craft for 18 eggs use. Is that the thing that you're... that you're selling in bulk? You think the dress is better or the bunny day wall is better? Yeah, look, guys. So I got these doubles of DIY recipes on the floor. Obviously, I have them already. Um, and the reason that I'm doing this is because, for some reason, the game doesn't let you put these in, in storage. You can sell them. But, to me, it's like... I, I would keep them to give them to friends who maybe didn't who didn't get the recipe yet. You know, like I, I just I it's another one of those things where it's like Nintendo, why? Why can't you put the fucking recipes in storage? What 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 is the what is the purpose of that? What Like look, Jen doesn't have them. Oh fuck. Okay. It's just another one of those weirdly t t limiting, restrictive, pointless fucking annoyances in a Nintendo game that... Probably to encourage you to give them away to friends. It, 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 I didn't need any more encouragement. Like, I, I'm... I'm ready to, to, to do it. I just... I don't get to see my friends every fucking day, you know? I don't get to go to... I imagine most people don't get to go to their friend's town every day or have their friend over every day. So, Nintendo want, wanted us to make a pile of, of, of fucking DIY recipes on the floor in our house. You can send them in the mail. I, I, that's cool, but I still don't understand why... You can't store them. So check this out. I think this looks a lot like King DDD's robe. So I think it'd be pretty sweet if I could get my hands on one of those duck bills that you could put on the, the on the face, so I could have a little DDD cosplay going. Is there a crown too? There's got to be a crown, right? 
All right, let me take a shitty, a shitty selfie real quick for those miles. Yeah. What's the deal with Squee? Plant flower seeds. Uh, I still have to do that one. All right. Put those into storage. Jumpy Bob, the, the crown costs 1.2 million bells. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry, you can have a crown or you can have a home expansion. Alright, so I have Nook demolishing a bridge. Um, what else should I do? I water these flowers. I'll water these flowers. Oh, so how many furniture trees do you get per day? Is it one or is it two? I feel like I had two pieces of furniture come out of trees. Not today, motherfuckers. Not today. No, you fucking bitch! Sheldon, you fucking bazinged me! Look at him, he's like, <laughs> Bazinga! <laughs> he's laughing. He's fucking laughing at me! I was gonna run into the museum, you cunt! Oh my god, you know what, Sheldon? I didn't like you before, now you're officially on my fucking shit list. Yeah, you're on my fucking shit list now. You know what? The next fucking camp- The next camper who comes to my town, I don't give a shit who it is. You're gone! You're done! You are done! You hear me? Done! On fucking believable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Excuse me. I need to get through here. I'm being chased by wasps. A horde of angry wasps. I hate wasps. They bite me. They sting me. Covered in scars from wasps. Moby Liddy Mary. Uh, anyway, what I was trying to ask you guys was... Do you get more than one piece of furniture from a tree in your town? I think it's two. It is two per day, yeah. So, I mean, you know, I want those. Ooh. Let's see what we got. A cute tea table. Squee! Yeah, it's fucking... It's, it's, sorry, Wamba. Just... I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I'm already fucking... I'm killing Squee, and there's nothing you can do about it. But you know what? Like, take solace in the fact that it's not really your fault, even though you were saying it a lot. It's uh, it's Flick. It's Flick's fault. It's Flick. You know, it was both of your fault. It was you and Flick. It was a, a tag team effort. I think I need to widen this. I don't. I don't like the fact that this is just. One thin strip. So probably some of those trees are going to have to go. But guys, check out what I did up here. Got those floor lights down. They look really nice at night. It's fucking bougie, right? Because I realized something. Check out the inside of his house. 
Normal words, but a bull guy. Well, he's a bull. Carnival Tempest. Look at this shit. He's got a cello. He's got all this fancy stuff going on. He's got those Russian dolls, the fireplace. He's like... He's like Frasier. You know, I'm gonna try to do a Kelsey Grammer voice. Is your face alright? Cause that sure looks like it must smart. You gotta be careful around them sneaky wasps. <clears throat> Let me practice this. <clears throat> Roz! Get in here and suck my dick. I'm listening. This is Kelsey Grammer, and I'm listening. I'm listening. Ah, uh, maybe it'd be better if I did Beast from X-Men. A rose by any other name. Give me Shakespeare quotes to, to say. What is some shake Shakespeare? Niles, the caviar! Niles, you forgot the caviar. Niles, you forgot the caviar. I can't believe you forgot the caviar. Here, take a dash of this medicine. It'll clear that right up. Unless... Is a swollen face in style these days? Does it sound like him at all? Romeo, Romeo. Come eat my cunt, Romeo. Well, I hope you learned something from all this, Roz. Try not to let it happen again. Again. Again? Ow. Must have been at this too long, because my back's acting up. Yeah, that's a fucking big mood for me. Roz! Suck my balls. Roz, get in here and suck my balls. You know what? Hold on. This is... This is bugging me. Fra... Frasier. Fra... Frasier... Frasier funny moments. I'm gonna look up Frasier funny, <laughs> Frasier funny moments. <sighs> uh. Frasier, uh, hijinks and shenanigans. Here we go. My goodness, who would have thought that such a rare butterfly could exist in this? T My goodness. Who would have thought such a rare butterfly could exist amidst this bullshit? True. At what cost? At what cost? Stop unlocking memories that are gone. Oh, you're not talking to me. I thought you, you know, I don't know. Experienced poverty while watching Frasier or something. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, now the audio for the console is doubled. What? This thing? I'm making a clothesline. It's tough, but I've got ages of... Ages of patience. Reckon you need that to be into DIY, Moocher. Wanna try making the clothesline I came up with? Here, I can run you through the basics. Ain't nothing to it. Yes, please. Okay, then. I wrote some instructions down here. Follow him to the letter. And everything should work out. Shouldn't be too tough to make, Moocher. I'd bet it's a cinch for you, Mike. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm not getting this voice at all, am I? Now I'm gonna fuck with your dolls. So, you see why I did the outside of the house like this, right? It works really well. Imagine wearing clothes more than once, and washing them yourself, no less. These people are animals, Niles. I tell you, animals. I tell you what, Cyclops. That Jean Grey's got a nice pair of boobies. I get why you're so into her, Niles. Man, it really was weird at the time to see fucking Kelsey Grammer, 
who, who, by the way, like up until that point in his career, like he was only Frazier. He wasn't anything else. Like he was in movies here and there, but you rarely ever saw him doing anything that wasn't playing that character. And don't forget, he played that character for like 30 fucking years because before Fra Frazier is a spinoff of Cheers, where he played that same character on Cheers for like fucking 15 years or something. So as far as anybody knew, that actor was only that character. And then out of nowhere, he was running around with a bunch of fucking blue makeup on and <laughs> like blue fur all over him. And it was like, whoa, that, that's weird to see that, man. What the fuck? All of a sudden he's beast <laughs> in X-Men and it's like, oh, I don't know if that works. Like that's... Just... And it's like... I think he made sense. Uh, by the way, like, it, it, we're talking about X3, which in my opinion was one of the worst movies ever made. Right? I, that, that movie... Guys, that movie's fucking bad. That movie is really fucking bad. You know? And it's like... I remember a after that movie, I was like, wow, comic book movies need to die. They, they're, they're, comic book movies will never be a successful thing because of how bad that movie was. Like, that movie proved comic book movies can never work. Yeah, most people... <laughs> most people say there's only two X-Men movies, right? But... You know, I would say it was... Definitely a fall from uh, from Grace for uh, for Kelsey Grammer. Whatever. Not that he was ever in Grace. It was just again. It was it was so fucking bizarre to like see this guy as Beast. And I, I think he made sense as the human form, like the Doctor part of it. Like yeah, it was it was a good casting choice. But just seeing him in that Beast makeup was was so fucking just bizarre and honestly hilarious. Like, it felt like some kind of X-Men Frasier crossover porn parody. Like, it didn't- like, it didn't feel real. Like, it felt like a joke. You know, and his acting was bad in it, but, you know, like, everybody's acting was bad in that movie, because that movie sucked copious amounts of cock. Copious. Alright, we're gonna make bank on these apples, guys. And, uh, oh yeah, we got room for some more fruit. You know, I don't know if that path being so narrow annoys me enough to chop some of these trees down and lose the income from the fruit. I don't think it does. Although, like, guys, navigating this is a little bit annoying. Not being able to see the fruit that I'm trying to pick up. Well, Emerald Glow, if I spread them out, then... then there's going to be less of them. I guess they really don't need to be this close together, huh? They, they, they really don't. <laughs> they, they definitely don't. I mean, I could spread them out around the town, I guess. And... But, you know, I specifically set aside this space up here for fruit trees. Uh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have picked a more open area for the fruit trees. Well, look, it's done. I I'm not changing anything at this point, guys. Horny for Nightcrawler. Uh, Nightcrawler was in the, the second X-Men movie, right? 
Oh, cool. Oh, that'll be cool to put in people's yards. Nightcrawler was probably my favorite thing about those X-Men movies. The, the, the actors, like, his acting was really good. His makeup looked really good. His, like, character arc was really good. And, you know, I just... Overall, I don't like those movies very much at all. I don't... I, I think the first... Yeah, the first two were fine, obviously. Uh, and it should be abundantly clear by now how I feel about the third one. But I don't think... I, I think I'm far from alone in that. Oh, I mean Paul Cummings, on sale. Yeah, I mean the original... The original Nightcrawler. Not the, the, the first class thing. Uh... I also... I didn't... The first class wasn't bad, but I... I feel like that was another movie that had more nuts busted over it than it than it deserved, you know? Personally. Alan Cummings. Oh, I know his name was Cummings because, you know, that last name is funny. But, you know, forget remembering his first name. Logan is good. Now, hold on a minute. Logan... Is that the movie that has the fucking, like, the final act is the big fight with, with Deadpool and, and Deadpool is, like, shooting lasers out of his eyes or, or, or some shit? What's that movie? Because that movie sucks cock. That was Origins Wolverine. Yeah, that movie can go fuck itself. Logan is the one where he's just running around, like, Canada being a lumberjack for, like, three hours. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Old Man Wolverine. I, see, I, rem I don't remember the movie that well, but I, I remember, like, liking it, yeah. Uh, d more than remembering... My enjoyment of that movie, I am re remembering my hatred for the other one that I was just talking about. Oh, still no Sans Undertale hoodie, guys. Still no Sans Undertale hoodie. Mm, what a shame. Alright, now. They do sell uh, pacifiers. Uh, but they do not sell diapers, so I don't know what the point of that is. Um, I don't know if any of this is really doing it for me. Uh, business suit coat. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's pretty dapper. And uh, some pants for that. What kind of pants do we want? Show me the pants. Alright, well... uh. Comedian's pants. Yeah, none of these uh, work at all. Uh, this is extremely stupid. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyway because uh, I'm an asshole. Um, hmm. Pilot hat. Uh, cowboy hat. Uh, oh, it's an Outback hat. Okay, it's fun. Uh, yeah, all right. That's fucking dumb as shit. I'm like a Texas oil baron, but but I'm also I I don't know some kind of elf like I a Texas oil elf. I it's very stupid. It's very stupid. A gay lawyer. <laughs> what? Let me talk to her. She's warming up to me. Day by day. Oh, I have a gimp mask already, Serpent Tucker. Lawyer! Scrap to spare says I'm Pete Booty Judge.
America, I'm gonna judge your booty. America, I have judged your booty and found it wanting. Alright, so I think that's all by fruit trees. On the island. So I was hoping she was crafting something in here so I could get a DIY recipe, but since you're not, uh, I don't want anything to do with you. These villagers need to start giving me more shit. I, they feel like they're not pulling their weight around here. And it's starting to really piss me off. Look at him. Look at how gleeful he is for what he's done to me. Oh, by the way, guys. I only got one piece of furniture from the from the trees. That means there's another one hanging out somewhere. Oh, look. There's a bunny day recipe that I totally already have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just... Another one for the pile. <laughs> cool. Well, let's take a look at that real quick. How many Bunny Day recipes are there? Because, guys, I have a lot. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, uh, 30, 35, 36, 37. If it's 37, I got all of them. Uh, Jazz Arm says if you're getting dupes, I think you have them all. That's not true, because... Alright, so... Uh, five... Uh, six, seven, eight... Nine, nine. So there's 14... Uh, fif 15 to total? For uh, the, the, the Cherry Blossom recipe, right? The last two recipe. Oh, so the last two recipes for the bunny event are on are on Bunny Day. Okay. Um. So I'm missing Pond Stone and Bond. No, 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 no. Look, I have Pond Stone. Blue shirt. So I'm also missing. Yeah, I don't have that bonsai tree. That's the only one I don't have. But I think it, it ends tomorrow, doesn't it, this event? I think it ends tomorrow. So I have one day to get the, the bonsai if I want everything. Unless, of course, one of you has a double and wants to, to mail it to me. It'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, I have all those cherry blossom leaves. I'm going to want to use them, you know? Uh, you have to be best friends with people to mail them. Not sure if that's worth it. I don't like having friends. Give me my other piece of furniture, motherfucker. That's not furniture. Hey, do you like jazz? No, I don't like jazz! No, I don't! No, no, no! Tutu, help me! Oh, fuck. Man, that's an interesting piece of furniture, huh, Mad uh, Madoka Ritsuo? Furniture only comes out of non-fruit trees. Yeah, that's good to know. Kyle, get the fuck out of my way. I'm in no mood for your shit, my guy. 
Yeah, that's a big development, that the furniture only comes out of non-fruit trees. Alright, so we know that the cherry blossoms aren't fruit trees, right? Ever? They're just... They're regular trees, right? All of them are, right? So that means that all the green ones are fruit trees, confirmed? Yeah, okay, good, good. That makes this easier. T again. Uh, help me! No! See, I should have ran to the museum because the museum doesn't have a door that you need to open. You could just run right in. Probably should have you. No, no. The, the, why is the, the why is the first option to drop it? It's the same thing with the fruit. Well, the good news is I'm gonna have a lot of wasp nest paste uh, to to sell at the store. Did we shake this one? Let's find out. Nah. I shook all the trees up by Stonehenge, I think. See a lot of saw a lot of compliments on my town in the in the chat today, thank you. Worked pretty hard on it if that's not obvious. Oh, guess I don't get to have that. Well, people in chat are saying you equip your net to protect yourself against the bees, but... That's assu you're assuming I'm going to be able to catch them. Which, it was miraculous that I caught the, the, the wasp for the museum, honestly. You guys want to see a really nice town? I still want want to show you guys Bun Time's town. Uh, Bun Time... It, can I come to your town today, or what? Because I feel like there's nothing left for me to do here anyway. Yeah, you want me to? Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a squee first. I take a pee first. Yeah, guys, we shook all these, so where's the other piece of furniture? I just realized I still have these saplings in my inventory. Get them out of here. I want one here. Yeah. Will that grow because it's so close to that fucking... You know what? That should be moved anyway. Yeah, that's good. Thanks, Joy-Con Drift. Fucking seriously? Oh, this is not a very poggers day for me in this game at all. You know, by the time I get over there, I'm gonna have to go back up for that balloon anyway, so let me just go ahead and do that. Hold on. Because I- what if the next one is break a balloon? It's not. Oh, I'm not gonna get this thing. I mean, it's probably just an Easter egg. Eh, it is. Oh, let me get 
this one too. Hold on. Nintendo wants me to get wood. Or a recipe balloon with a, with a dupe. No dial? Yeah. No dial. Thanks for coming today. Thank you to the people who stopped by, because, uh, just because you were able to, because it's earlier. Appreciate it. There we go, got the miles. So I imagine there's, what, well, more Europeans here than there usually is? There it is, motherfucker. Because, because time zones are a thing, right? And also, you know, people's work schedules vary. What's a Europe? What, is, is there now a conspiracy theory claiming that Europe doesn't exist? Sounds... Sound off. What... What, uh... What countries are getting repped? Here today. I see the UK getting repped. But dumbass Corgi, you show up at night. Regardless, so. Antarctica, that's not a country. Well, I know America is here, and I know Canada is here. Wamba says Somalia. D D Wamba, you're from, like, Wisconsin. Uh, Finland is here, Germany's here. P P Pretoria is here. Brazil is here. California is not a country, and neither is West Virginia. Uh, Romania is here. Did I see Hungary is here? Oh, man, I could go for something to eat, too. Uh, Cuckland is here. Dabuti Porterhouse. I wonder if uh, Pete Booty Judge has ever judged the booty. Um... Sweden is here. Vietnam is here. Apparently. Uh, fr Framps is here. Argentina is here. Belgium is here. We got a Costa Rica. And we got a uh, Cum Chuggerstan. I think you could get away with just ch uh, Chuggerstan. Chuggerstan sounds good. Uh, we have a sea land. Oh, you, sea land gracing us with its with its presence. Swaziland. Now you guys are just making shit up. Please stop. It was a serious question, and I expected serious answers. Okay. Not meme answers. A lot of meme answers. Too many meme answers. Oh, I also gave Deirdre a, um... What do you call it? Wind turbine. So now she has to be paranoid about the deer scare and cancer. Guys, where the fuck is my other piece of furniture? I'm like, getting upset. Like, I want it. It's up my ass. Thanks. Thanks, that's super helpful. Oh shit, we didn't shake any of these. Yeah, water the tree. Water the tree. It was looking a little bit parched, wasn't it? I'm a gay lawyer, and I'm here to represent you. Lawyer! This furniture isn't in any of those trees. It's just out there somewhere. Probably in, like, the one tree that I didn't shake, and it's giving me, like, it's giving me angina. I'm getting angina from this chat. I'm getting angina in my vagina. Hmm. 
Oh, regular balloon. Is that going to go in the river? Nah, I don't think so. A cycling cap. Oh, that's dumb as shit. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to take a quick break. And then I'm going to go to uh, Bun Times Island. That'll be the first mod island that uh, that we showcase here. I expect the other mods are working really hard on their islands so they can make everybody squee uh, when I go to their islands. Um, oh, there's some mail here. I wonder... Oh, it's from Wamba. And it says, Dear Dummy. Wow, what a fucking scumbag. Alright, gonna report that. Just gonna go ahead and, um... Uh, hateful bullying. Alright, gonna go ahead and do that. Um, not gonna, not gonna do that. That's a joke. <laughs> what, if, what if I did it? What if I did it? And then like... <laughs> Wob is fucking like Nintendo online account gets banned or some shit. What if they just delete your fucking save file and Wamba just finished his museum too? That'd be fucked up. A baby romper. Oh, that's fucking bad. Thank you, man. Oh, you know what I could do now? Hold on. Uh, I could go get the pacifier now. Uh, hold on. Let me get some garbage out of my inventory. Uh, hey, Bun Time. Do you want any of these DIY recipes that I have doubles of? Like, take a look at what they are. Because, uh, again, they're just... They're cluttering up the fucking place. Uh, Nef can feel back to the baby. Thank you for 41 months. How do you have that many dupes, Orange Fresh? Because the... The, the event sucks. Fun time has all of those. Alright, so let me just dump another one on the floor then. <sighs> Fucking awesome. What's up, uh... I Ocean Matcha. You just got here? Uh, you didn't miss anything. You just missed me complaining about Joy-Con Drift, honestly. Yeah, that's what I call content. Yeah, especially the Bunny Day stuff, Sam. I, I can't imagine anybody wanting the Bunny Day stuff since they're probably all sitting there with doubles too at this point, right? I will. I'll sell them. Um, hmm. And you know, yesterday the store was selling these baby bonnets that would have really rounded out the uh, the gay baby get up. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's fucking bad. A skull shirt. I, I own a skull shirt. They had like the baby hats, you know, the bonnets. Pete, baby, baby, baby judge? Baby geek. Pete, baby geek. Mike, should I send you a guillotine? There's a guillotine in the, in the game? Why do I not believe that? All right, listen. I'm gonna BRB. Uh, I'll let you guys listen to Fraser funny moments while I'm gone. No, I have a video here. Fred in the Rudo run. Believe it. Yeah. You're, you're not gonna watch it. the whole thing. I'm gonna be Hokage. Sonic, fuck you. Fuck you. You can't be Hokage. I can be Hokage. What's up, everybody? We got Sonic Forces. It's like being a fan of a, of a shitty fucking sports team. Who just literally drops the ball like over and over and over and over. But you're still a fan because like you feel like you have to be or something. That's what being a Sonic fan is like. Do not buy it yet. Buying this game now would be a bad decision.
if you really gotta get hogged, because we all know how much uh, I needed to get hogged. The game is out today for $40. Do not buy it yet. Let's, uh, let's see if it's cool. Maybe it's cool. No, maybe it's cool. Maybe it's cool. Again, Robotnik, you, you did this like four times already, man. Time to kick it up a notch right here on Triple D. Yeah. That's something that fucking Fieri is always saying, kicking it up a notch. I feel like they're spirit animals together. Like Sonic the Hedgehog is Fieri's spirit animal. That's a righteous dog. Dude. I do the same voice for them. There's there's something they're connected somehow in my mind. I don't know how exactly, but Oh fuck, it's a Shy Halud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. Cool. <laughs> Whoa, oh my god, holy shit! Oh, the edge is unreal! It's something else. Gotta scan him and figure this out. Yeah, you scan him, Tails. You scan him hard. Yeah, kick! What are you how are you doing? Oh! Oh my pussy! Alright, it's character creation time. Oh, it's it's putting his dick in it. <laughs> oh, it'd probably be hard to like butt fuck a bee. You got the um the stinger like stabbing you in the pelvic region. What the fuck is wrong with me? Already, already this game. I blame this game. This game has already infected me with fucking like weird shit. It's him. Oh, here we go. Okay. I just received some incredible news. Sonic is alive. Those are lies, Knuckles. Fucking lies. He's dead. I watched him die. I watched Infinite like, slit his throat with his edge. Oh, I watched him bleed out. Oh, I, oh I, can't, I can't get it out of my head. His blood was all over me, Knuckles. Oh, fuck. Oh, I see it every time I close my eyes. He's captured in the orbiting prison. My spy there says he's in a solitary confinement cell. And they've been oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, he's a POW. Now right up there. I'm still working on the voice. Right up there. Right up there. Right up there. Tails, look out. It's Alex Mack. Right behind you. Oh shit. See, this is what I want from a Sonic game. I want to be able to just blindly... Hold the, the fucking control stick right and press A once in a while. That's all I want from a Sonic game. Is that so difficult, Sega? Is that so fucking difficult? I don't think I'm asking for a lot here. I really don't. Screaming. I'll let you live. He's dead already from the fucking just the, the edge that just impaled every, all of his vital organs. Holy shit. It's Tits the Bat, everybody. Everyone's, fa everyone's favorite Sonic waifu, Tits the Bat. But yeah, Sonic said but. Oh my God, can you believe it? I'm not doing any of this. No. How could I lose to the likes of you again? That was a blast. Bring some chili dogs next time. Yeah, chili dogs, get go. Chili dogs, get go. I'm back. We'll be making a water landing, but that's okay because this is a seaplane. God, I love that. And you know what I forgot to do? I had 50 stacks of pears in my inventory, I'm just now remembering. That I could have sold here at a massive profit. Ah, I guess they're just gonna keep sitting in my inventory because I'm a dumbass. Anyway, this is Fluff. Which is Bunt Times Town. Uh, and she's composting in real time. Uh, there she is. Uh, looking like she wants to speak to my manager. Hello. So guys, uh, this town inspired my town in a lot of ways. I, I consider my town to be a half-assed, shittier version of, of this town. Bunsen, why don't you take me on a, a tour? Take me on a little tour and show me what you got going on here. Alright, so 
You can see she's got all kinds of hybrid flowers. Uh, whoop. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna follow you. I'll. I'll, I'll follow you. All right. I'll just. I see things that are amazing, and I get excited. Look. Look. Look at all the fucking the yard space that she gave the houses. And I compare this to the one inch of backyard that my my fucking my villagers have. Right. Like, look at that. Look how spaced out all the houses are. They all have yards. See, my town actually sucks ass. In a lot of ways, you know? Compared to this, I think. Look at this. Look how cozy it is in here. My villagers, they have half the space of this. Everything's all fucking... ...smushed up together. Alright, commence the jiggling. I want to see if I can learn a DIY recipe from whoever this is. Call bun time. Bun time, you want to get in a, in, in a call? It's Pracolo. I haven't seen you before. Did you just move here? Do you belong here? Oh, you're Mike. I heard that you were visiting. I'm a Pracolo. Fluff is the best. Eat it. So enjoy your time here. Alright. He told me to eat it. Uh... Why did he tell me to eat it? He's baby. Why did he tell me to eat it? Did, why are you teaching your villagers to tell visitors to eat it? Pracolo. He's an idiot baby. Okay. Alright. So she's got the museum and the... And the store next to each other like that. It's really good. She's got the telephone... Thing, the Able Sisters, there's a bench. I love these benches. I'd really like to have more of these benches to put around my town. Guys, like, my town is, is complete S next to this. This is my fit. Eh, this is my favorite pit. Look at all this. Are those white roses? Oh yeah, so Buntime has a graveyard up here. Oh, tu tulips. Okay. Yeah. And let's find out who the graveyard keeper is. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Count Pietro Dufluff. <laughs> It's funny that he calls himself that because he got um count the, the count the the fucking Monte Cristo. What's the fucking the, the, the ground post story when somebody gets buried in the wall? Listen to the cloud music real quick. I had him in my in my new leaf town for a while. I think he fucking moved out because I didn't log on to the game and I was like really upset. The cast of Amontillado, yeah. What's the music called in Ethica? It's called Clown Sex. So I didn't move here all that long ago. <laughs> anyway, what's your name? <laughs> Look at that suit that he's wearing, too. <laughs> the juxtaposition. It's excellent. Oh, fuck. I love Pietro. He's so good. You gave... You have him that suit? That doesn't make any sense. No, I know what you meant. Hold on a second. Um. Uh, where is that shit?
So, I saw this comic on Twitter. Uh, I'm gonna link the, the tweet to you guys, because this is fucking fantastic. Alright. It says, Pietro is my favorite villager. The day he moved in, I was so happy. I started to offer him an anatomical model every day. Pietro slowly replaced every furniture in his house with my gifts. I'm so happy Pietro is my friend. <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> this is fucking great. Bun time, had you considered doing this with Pietro? I think it's a really good, really good plan. Okay, let's continue the, the tour. You want to? Yeah. All right, you got some little butt fruit grove over here. Ah, oh, you got the skunk. Welcome, chum. Have a look. No rush. No rush at all. He's got... Uh, oh, kitty socks. That'll go good with my uh, baby suit. Um, he's also selling some kind of gross crocs. It looks like. Slip, slip on school shoes, okay? And a Hot Topic backpack, okay. I'm good. Don't my new socks look awesome, everybody? <laughs> Wait, bun time, can we look over here real quick? You're like zipping past all the cool shit you did. So there's a little picnic area with the Grill Douglas! Again, one of the first days I was playing the game, the, the Nook store had this grill and I didn't buy it. Because I'm an asshole. Alright, back to following you. Stop, stop passing all the cute shit! Cool topic. This is unfinished. Work in progress over here? Nice little bamboo area. That's Octavian's house, I think, right? Because Buntime also got Octavian. Does he have a DIY recipe going in there? I'm not going to bother coming in if he doesn't. Oh, look, there's a little fish, uh, fishing thing going on here. He doesn't. Okay, fuck him then. Look at this shit. It's pretty righteous. If you wanted, you could ask for a furniture touching party so you can register them in the Nook catalog. That's a little bit weird, man. Hey, can we have a furniture touching party? This is Squee AF. Yeah, you fucking- you fucked up, Wombo. I want you to know that. They're having a little tea party over there. Uh, look at- fucking- look at this! The fuck? Oh, my town is so lame. My town is an embarrassment next to this. And get this, guys. Bun Time said... She wants to fucking, like, erase her entire town and start it over. And I said, don't do that. Can you can you guys, like, tell her not to do that? Please, because I'm just, like... Ver I'm very upset by that. Oh, there's another weird sheep. Not Pietro. I'm over it. Yeah, I, my town is alright, I guess, but look look at look at this guys. Look at this shit. It's like it's it's, it's like good. You know, everything's not all smashed together. All the houses are spread out, it's nice. Another little 
picnic area type of a thing over here. And this is where she's making all the hybrid flowers. Which is a thing that I really need to find a spot for in my town, I think. And here's the campsite with the nice waterfall. This is fucking great. Oh my god. Oh fuck it. I, I want to vomit just like, thinking about my town right now. Alright, so that's mine. Do you want it, Bun Time? I'm just being a dick. Fuck no. <laughs> Why so emphatically no? So I saw something on Twitter. It was a little a little video. You hate eggs. Of somebody getting chased by bees, and they ran up to Kyle while he was sitting next to a pond and talked to him. And he was like, No thanks, I don't want any part of this. And then got up and ran away. That was the dialogue. Nope, don't want any part of this. You saw that? <laughs> He goes, don't want any part of that. Good luck. And then gets up and runs away from the person. <laughs> like, he hauls ass. Like, it's weird. Because you never see the villagers run, right? Show it, R Rousalith. I, fuck, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that. Are these kissing sheep? <gasps> oh, you're a fucking, you're a son of a bitch. Fun time. You know that? You're a real son of a bitch. Holy shit. This is beyond cute. Yeah. You, well, no, because I meant it as a compliment. That was like a, like the good kind of son of a bitch, you know? Let's see what's going on in the house. My house sucks. Should I not even bother being in here? All right. You didn't do anything in here. Star Heaven, we have to get in touch about the secret project. I'm sorry, dude. I've had so much garbage going on here, man. I, if you only knew, chat. If you only fucking knew. <sighs> what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. What? Are you seeing this, chat? This wasn't here the last time I came to this town. What? You don't have a ramp up here? Oh, you absolutely do. I'm a dick. Okay. Oh, it's a little moon-shaped... Oh, moon-shaped pool thing. Like that, what is that? Radiohead? This Radiohead album? Yoink! Are you gonna do anything in here, or are you gonna, are you gonna leave it like this? Moon-shaped pool sounds like a Nirvana song, Wamba. But yeah, because heart-shaped box exists. That's the only reason. The li literally the only reason you're thinking that. Uh, look at this. Oh. oh my god. Fun time. This is like fucked up good. This is like you could enter a contest for like cute towns and win. Oh, I'm making bank off of your trees. <laughs> Look. Oh, wow. <laughs> Again? Why is there why are there so many? Is it because I'm a visitor and I'm shaking the trees in somebody else's town? That's what it feels like. Look at these. Look look at look at fucking how good this is. Guys, are you are you seeing this? Look at the fucking See this. This is what I should have done. Not fucking bunched all the houses together like a dick. 
But we, no, no, d d don't. D this town is perfect. I mean, listen, do whatever you want, but I, I feel like fucking with this is criminal. It's so good. <gasps> Bun, he, he's got a recipe in here. Nice to meet you. My name's Eunice. I haven't seen you around, so I'm guessing you're visiting. <laughs> Lamb chop. That's great. Your name's Mike. I hope I pronounced that right. Now you got at least one friend from Fluff. <laughs> Sorry, I was really focused on this. I'm currently crafting a natural square table just to see how I do at it. DIY is a great way to learn by doing. I'm totally obsessed with it. Wait, something tells me you already know how to make a natural square table. I'm not surprised. You never fail to impress, Mike. You must know a do-it-yourselfer out there who wants to learn to make a natural square table. Why don't I give this recipe to you to pass it on to someone who can use it? Yeah, why is our house a laundromat? Yeah, excuse me. <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying... <laughs> what is this house? I hate laundromats. Find me somebody who likes laundromats. Anyway, I got another double DIY recipe to throw on the floor in my house now. Squee city. She's got a little park down here. Check it out. See, I want to do this with my ridey horses, but I want them to be different colors. I want to, like... You have the same color as me, so I can't even ask you for, for, for one. But, yeah. This part is bad. Why are you saying that? I wish the cotton candy machine was real. I wish squids were real, too. Too small? Nah, it's fucking... It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, uh, you... If you really feel like that, you could extend it this way. You could just have this whole area be... Be more park, if you really... If you really need that. A little picnic area? Oh, you... I'm telling you, you're a real son of a bitch. You're a real cute son of a bitch. How do you fucking get away with this? There's no way this is legal. There's no way this is legal. Yeah, it's a teddy bear picnic. I'm wanted in, wanted in three states. Hi, where's your house? Oh, you're just visiting. I'm Ruby. P.T. Dubs. I'm the only fully trained and licensed trendsetter in all of Fluff. I hope we can be friends. Because if not, I'll chop you into itty bitty little pieces. <laughs> because if we can't be friends, one day, a fisherman is going to find your foot snagged in his line. <laughs> your bloated foot, half eaten by crabs. I want to move the cemetery. Up here. Yeah, I feel like Ruby is like the female Ted Bundy of the Animal Cross. Like, look at the... It's the eyes, I think. Fun time, I feel strongly that d d you shouldn't move anything. Like, this, this looks so fucking good. Like, you worked hard. You should be able to sip all the hot cum you want, you know what I mean? Like, you worked hard for this. You put a lot of effort into it. Now enjoy it, you know? Uh, speaking of Ted Bundy... Last night, I watched that Netflix movie, um, about Ted Bundy. It's, uh, it's called, uh, Shockingly Evil or, or something like that. Does anybody, you could look, just, just Google Ted Bundy movie on Netflix. 
It was really good. It was really good. Zach Efron. Yeah, it was Zach Efron was uh, was Ted Bundy. It was fucking great. Did you see it, Octane? I know Octane's got like a serial killer kink. That's a really bad way of describing that. Kabu Kamari says, This is how I feel when I look at your town. I think town jealousy is just a part of the game, and the town owner is always like, it's shit, actually. Oh, speaking of shit, you got a nice bathroom going on in here. Let me upper deck your toilet. Bathroom needs clown music to help the bowels. You need a shower? Yeah. I see you got the, um... I haven't showered in weeks. <laughs> What a gamer. You got the incense sticks to uh, hide the poop smell? I bet you Buntime takes really, really stinky poops. Like, I I exceptionally stinky poops. Like real gamer poops, you know? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so your kitchen is just cardboard boxes right now? Yeah, this is uh, Struggle Meal Central, if I've ever seen it. Where is Bun Time's poop knife? Eric and Traffa masks. <laughs> yeah, you need a poop knife in here, Bun Time. Like, maybe there's some kind of kitchen set that you could, you could like, wall mount it or something. It's just a collection of, of knives. You could just put it on the, on the wall over here. <laughs> Uh, Octane says, I did see it. It wasn't bad. I was more interested in the B-roll that played during the credits. And Efron is too empathetic as a person. Like, you didn't feel like Efron did a believable, like, sociopathic murderer, right? He should have been played by Dennis from Always Sunny. I, you know, it's funny because while I was watching that movie, I thought this more than once. How perfect fuck Dennis would have been for that role. Because I'm pretty sure, De like, when he was, you know, working on that character... He was probably looking at, at, like, serial killer footage because he wanted Dennis to be a creepy character, you know? It was like, in, in a lot of ways, I feel like he, he was preparing for a role like that without realizing it, you know? But absolutely, Dennis would have knocked that out of the fucking park. Absolutely. But uh, I liked the movie overall. Octane. I thought, you know, like the narrative was good. I like the way that they did it with, you know, focusing on his, uh, his, his fiance and, and having it like, basically you're seeing the events from her perspective. It was really interesting. Did you do anything in the basement or in the upstairs one time? Was it anything? Did I miss anything cool in there? Carnival Tempest found the, uh, the Kyle video? Yeah, send send it. Send it over. Can somebody permit Carnival Tempest for a link, please? Oh, so Bundy's wife wrote a book. Well, fiance wrote a book, Hateful Kate says. I guess they did they that, that movie was based on her book that she wrote. Alright, you have a teddy bear circle jerk going on and you're standing right in the middle. Interesting. And there's the uh, shrine to Waddle Dee. Very cool. Alright. Ba baby Waddle Dee. Um, which I'm pretty sure, like, is not an official thing that exists in the Kirby universe. Um, yeah, guys, click that link that Carnival Tempest uh, put in the chat. Yeah, this is the video, yeah. I don't feel like putting it... It's going to be annoying to put that in OBS, so just look at the chat. Kyle says, Sorry, I don't want any part of this. Good luck. And then gets up and bolts. <laughs> it's so good. <sighs> All right. Uh, very fucking cute. Very cute, Bun Time. The book is called The Phantom Prince. Hateful... Well, I don't, you know, read anymore at this point in my life, so I'm probably not gonna do that
Yeah, the basement. Oh. This is creepy as fuck. So, fun story. At, at one point, Buntime had said, Oh yeah, I want the, uh... I want the, what is it called? Orchid Mantis statue from, from Flick. So, when Flick was in my town yesterday, I, uh, I made it for her, and then I, I had mailed it to her. And then... She's like, Oh, I have it already. And, uh, you know... Kind of pissed me off, because the Orchid Mantises are, are, are rare. But I'm not going to ask for it back, because, you know, I'm classier than that. It's a reference to a game. What game? Isn't, if it isn't Garfield, Mass Effect, erotic fan fiction, Mike doesn't read it. Damn straight. Reading is just, it's too hard at this point in my life, you know? They're rare. They're kind of rare. Shh. A bad game I made years ago. You made a game? Tell tell, tell us about your game. No, I have some white... You know what it was? Is when I was looking for them, I, I didn't have enough white flowers, I guess. Because I had two, and I needed one more to make it. And I was like, oh, let me let me see if... Shouldn't be too bad to find the third one so I could just make it for her. That'd be That'd be cool. And, uh, then I just took, like, an hour to find it, and I was getting annoyed. The main enemy was an Orchid Mantis. Oh, oh okay. So, do you, you made a video game, so you have, uh, 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 experience in game development, Bun Time? That's some new Bun Time lore. And to fight- yeah, to fight him, you have to plug the controller into- into, uh... Port 2. It's a shitty RPG maker game. Okay. Yeah, I tried to make one of those once. I saw how much effort was going into it. I gave up in like five minutes. I was like, nah, this is too much effort for little old me. Almost as much effort as trying to catch one of those cherry blossom petals. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think the last time I was in the town, your your house was here. Yeah. Can you stop fucking shoving me? What the fuck? Oh, you know what? This is a different flamingo than the ones that I have in my town. There's two different flamingos, I guess. <laughs> Beave Nation might be getting a real, uh, engineering job. Oh shit, can you hook, uh, Static up with one too? As the progenitor of the Squee meme, I think his resume speaks for itself. Yeah, you guys want to hear a fucked up story? Static's been trying to get... An engineering job for like I hope you don't mind me telling them something personal static static but it doesn't look like you care static's been applying to engineering jobs for about two fucking years am I exaggerating that and he finally gets an interview and they tell him he has the job and uh, and then a week later fucking coronavirus happens and everybody has to shut down their offices and they tell him he can't fucking have the job for one year yeah, and then they tell him, oh yeah, your, 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 your job is offer is off the table because we can't employ new people right now. Yeah, he worked real fucking hard for that. It's, uh, it's really, really fucking upset me. He doesn't deserve that shit. You know, for all the fucking memes and the garbage and the country, he's a good dude. Okay, that's just fucking disturbing. That thing has massive Katamari energy, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Look at it. Do that again. <gasps> oh, it so does, right? <laughs> okay, time to never look at that again. It's fucking creepy as fuck. 
So I think that's the whole town. Anything we haven't seen, fun time? You got anything... We seen the whole thing? That's it. Yeah, I mean, this is fucking awesome. Who wants me to come to their town next? It's moderators. Not today, probably during a future stream. I'm gonna have to wrap up here pretty soon, I think. I'll start thinking about dinner and... Yoink. And then, uh, getting ready for the stream later. Oh, yeah, I have this already. Jar is what we want. Oh. Bunny Day Merry Balloons. Yep, I have that. Oh, well, I have all of them, we determined earlier. What, there's 37 bun time? Do you have 37 Bunny Day recipes? Uh, what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna have some of the people who aren't moderators, I'm just gonna open up my gates one day and have a bunch of people come in. We'll do... You don't give a shit, okay. You know, we'll do whatever. What is it? Eight people at a time? Seven people at a time? And, uh... You know, we're not gonna sit through loading screens all day. Like I said, I'll just have... Oh, you saw that bottle and didn't pick it up because that's how little of a fuck you give? <laughs> For days. Uh, one time is protesting uh, Bunny Day. Boycotting Bunny Day. It's a bun -cot on the boycott on the bun -cot. Um. Yeah, so prior to the stream, I'll invite a bunch of people over. I'll open the gates. I'll give out the dodo code to select people uh, and then I'll have you know I'll have some people come and and then that'll be you know a stream or part of a stream uh, and then uh, another day I'll do it again with a different set of people that's how we'll we'll do that uh, I made my mind up on that and so, so it is decreed and so it shall come to pass Yeah. Yeah, I'd say this is a pretty good town. I rate it. Yeah, 8.5 out of 10. Fighter. 8.5 out of 10. Got the pier over here. A lot of coconut trees. And, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll go home. I think the airport's over here. Here it is. Okay. Later, nerds. Thanks for having me over, Bun Time. It's a good time. The chat really enjoyed that, and hopefully it inspired some people for things to do with their towns. Certainly did that for me. That's why I want to show you guys. Commander Sadik says, that sucked. What, Bun Time's town sucked? Oh fuck, sick today. You're, you're getting- uh, sick today. Static. You're fucking- You're gonna get hurt. Hey, you, you need to be careful. Oh, my impression of the of of Joe Swanson. Well, of course you're gonna judge it harshly because you do the best Joe Swanson impression out of anybody I know. And Terror Legion says my Animal Crossing streams are one of the few things that's keeping me sane. Hey man, trust me when I tell you they're they're keeping me sane too. But uh, I'm glad I can I can help in that small way. Uh, like I said, I have a, you know, I, I have another family member works at one of the New York City hospitals uh, that got really, 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 you know, slammed with with patients, um, and uh, spoke spoke to him on the phone the other day, and and, and he's uh, he he's like shell shocked. Uh, he's, he's he's fucking just. He's quite honestly losing his fucking mind. He's just so much, you know, so much suffering, so much death. 
It's like... It's really fucked up, guys, and, uh... Really worried, really worried about them. Really, really, really worried about them. Uh, so that's on my mind constantly. Uh, also, the other family member I mentioned earlier is, is just making it so much harder than it than it than it needs to be. Uh, so, you know, this is a really nice escape for me to be able to do this and have you guys come and, and uh, just kind of take my mind off of it for a little while. You know? Um... <clears throat> Uh, Porterhouse says, if the guy is healthy, he should be able to handle it like the flu. Well, Porterhouse, the truth of it is, he, with his own two eyes, has seen a lot of, a lot of evidence to the, to the contrary of that. All right. Uh, don't, don't, don't underestimate, um, what this, what this thing, uh, can do. So, guys, please, please try to take the, the quarantine shit seriously, the social distancing seriously. I, I, I know it sucks. We were just talking about how much it sucks because, like, what happened to Static, and, you know, obviously, I'm sure a lot of other people here are, uh, you know, have their their careers are in peril and, and, and things like that. But I, I'm here to tell you guys, I got somebody very close to me who's on the front lines of this thing. And, um... He, he's seeing people that are younger than me with no underlying health conditions dying, all right? And, and that's not, you know, a fucking, uh... I mean, try to keep in mind that he's in a position where he's gonna see uh, a lot of the worst of the worst. Um, but, uh, that, that is, that is happening. That is happening. Uh, that's, and that's, that's, that's not, that's not something that I, you know, read on the internet somewhere. That is somebody who saw it with their own two eyes that, uh, that I, that I trust expressly. So, wash your hands. Wear a mask. Do everything that they're telling you to do. Uh, because it's, it's, uh, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. Um, and I'm, I'm telling you that, you know, because I care. I'm telling you that, as, again, as somebody who, uh, well, it's, you know, it's, it's a, d <laughs> it's a very serious thing, guys, and I, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating this, uh, in, in in any in any way, right? So do what they're uh, do what they're saying, all right? At this point, uh, unfortunately, it's going to be on a sad note. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna end the stream. I want to thank you guys again for coming to hang out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you uh, for your bits, your subs, your resubs. But you know, as 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 always. Thanks just for watching more than anything. Thanks for keeping me company. Uh, if anybody's new to the channel, of course, you can find me on social media. Uh, you can find me on YouTube. All right. Um, I'm going to look at art now. So uh, if you made art for the stream, you can tweet it at me with the hashtag JaboniMikeArt. And what do we have here? Let's start with, uh, from Oven Mitt. It's a Mask Boy T. Based on the, uh, sub icon, right? Uh, very fucking cool. Uh, this is them modeling it. I've seen a lot of these. Very nice. Also, your house looks fucking adorable. Oh, I'm loving the turtle on the stool. <laughs> he doesn't quite fit on it, but but that's okay. And also, it looks like he's recording something. This is, uh, this is awesome. Thank you, Oven Mitt. And if anybody wants to have this shirt, there's some codes for it. Uh, also from Indie Film Pro, the Sans Undertale a cosplay grows grows closer to a reality with this Sans Undertale jacket. Thank you for this Indie Film. Uh, and finally, it's from Rurud Rude. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this in here with no explanation. I think it speaks for, its, for itself. All right. This whole past couple of weeks really just feels like a fever dream. 
Uh, and I think this actual fever dream tops it off very nicely. Okay. Mike, can your next ASMR video be Joe Swanson raiding the Family Guy cast's cocks? Thank you in advance. I'll think about it. Uh, and on that note, guys, have a great day. If you're not going to come by later for 999, uh, if you are going to come by later for 999, I'll see you then. Uh, in the meantime, you know, stay safe. Enjoy your, enjoy your jazz music in the comfort and safety of your own home. And uh, I'll see you soon.